Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyce and Grove, and today we're gonna show you how we made these customized coasters for a little restaurant in Hungary. Let's get into it. One of our family members in Hungary owns a small restaurant, so we thought that coasters would be a perfect personalized gift that he could put to good use. I used some 1 8 inch pre-sanded hardwood plywood for these coasters. This material is leftover that I have from another project, but I had just enough to make all the coasters I needed. I wanted the coasters to be octagon shape, and I know that there's a plethora of videos online showing you how to make jigs to cut the perfect octagon. Efe, what is a plethora? But we were kind of under a time crunch, so after some quick measurements, I used my miter saw to make two cuts and my table saw to make the last two cuts. Then it was off to Christina for some quick sanding. We wanted to put the restaurant's logo on the coasters, and to do that, we used an ink transfer technique. Okay, for this transfer technique, all you're going to need is an inkjet printer and some sticker paper or label paper. I got mine off of Amazon. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. You want to start by peeling the sticker or labels off of the paper, and then you want to put the paper in your printer with the slick side that the sticker was on so that that's the side that gets printed on. You also want to make sure that whatever you're printing is reversed to how you want it to show up on your project because when we print it out, we're going to flip it over so it's going to reverse it again and it'll make it the right way. Once your image is printed out, be very careful not to touch it because the ink actually doesn't absorb on this slick side, so it's just sitting there on the surface and it can smear really easily. Make sure that you give it plenty of pressure so the ink will be able to absorb into the surface of your project. Now we have found that this application works best on raw wood. I've tried it on wood that's already been sealed or stained or painted and the ink just kind of slides around because it really can't absorb into the wood any longer. Once the ink was dry, we applied four coats of spray-on satin polyurethane, making sure to sand in between each coat. We went with a very common coaster size, which is four inches. So we were able to find some four inch self-adhesive cork squares to apply to the bottom of the coasters. I'll leave a link to the cork squares in the description below. Then all that was left to do was deliver the coasters. All right, our coasters are finished. This was a quick and easy project and something you can easily batch out for gifts or for a craft sale or something like that. The one thing that you wanna keep in mind is that if you use water-based polyurethane like we did, you wanna make sure that you give it enough time to properly cure out. Because if you don't, if you put a glass on here with condensation, that moisture can actually reactivate the polyurethane and it will turn white again. So just make sure that you follow the instructions and let it cure out for a proper amount of time. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. We work on a new project every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear what you thought of this project in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.